Hey everybody, it's The Last Raider. We're back with another video. And uh, if you're like me, you've been watching Ghost of Tsushima, you've got the game, you've been playing it pretty good, and you just saw the multiplayer announcement, and you're stoked for it. So I thought a good thing to do today with a video would be to go in here, watch the trailer real quick, and then give my thoughts on what multiplayer would be, and uh, how this is going to help out with Ghost of Tsushima. So let's jump in here. Partial nudity is always a good thing. Have to admit, this is probably one of the prettiest games I've ever played. So this is something that I've, I've noticed. We're going to a more horrorscape atmosphere. Which lends me to believe we're probably going to have something similar to Left 4 Dead, but without guns. Um, I'm not sure what the story is going to be behind this. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some kind of a story arc to it. How the game's going to play, I figure you're going to have up to four people at least. And we may have different classes, or we may not have different classes. It'd be cool if you get to customize your own, your character's play style to what you want to use. But other than that, I, I don't see that probably happening. I figure probably we're going to get a set group of characters, and we're going to have to play as those characters, and we'll probably just have access to most, if not, or each character will have access to, like, different equipment, whereas the other ones won't. So, say, like, the swordsman's probably going to have access to all the stances, but he's not going to have access to all of, like, the bows. So he'll probably have, like, a half bow to help him out, but he won't have the long bow and have the fire and explosive arrows and stuff like that. But in my opinion, that would balance the game out more. Well, let's keep going here. This is going to be good. So see, this is this is what's getting me here because, like I said, this is why I think there's going to be different classes. You have um, what looks like a swordsman. You look like you what you have a samurai, a ronin, an archer, and a shinobi. And it seems like they'll probably have different skills. Like the Shinobi will probably have access to all the shadow weapons. And they'll all be able to somewhat fight limitedly. At least that's my theory. I'm reserving the right to be wrong here. <laughs> so don't don't come to me and say, Oh, you're wrong, Raider. Uh, I reserve the right to be wrong. Don't worry about that. But I mean, you see you've got an archer here. You've got in the back, which looks like a... Uh, do list and each one of these I think will probably have access to some form of the tree somewhere along that line um, they'll have access to unique equipment but I, I am liking this idea of you know limited four people four person limited if we could customize the characters that would be awesome uh, if we could customize if we just had access to everything when we walk in or we have to earn it as we play I think earning it as you play will be awesome also, this thing is like, you're not going to have to pay for this. You, if you bought the game, you're going to get all this for free. I'm digging the Japanese horror thing now. Now hold up here. Because we saw something here. I just I just want to go back for a second and just look at this over because I saw something that seems to have, I didn't notice this the first time I saw the trailer. Right here. You see Samurai, Assassin, Hunter, Ronin. I'm beginning to think this is pro they're going to have like a cla uh, character classes, and then those character classes are going to have access to certain weapons and stuff. And who knows? You might be able to. They may just let us put whatever charms we want on the characters to boost whatever we want to use. 
who knows? I mean, who really knows? It looks like everyone has access to a sword, but like I said, we don't know if everyone has access to all the sword skills. Uh, you may be stuck in like stone stance, or you may not have all the extras that come with the Ronin, which seems which seems reasonable because you could still have the basics, probably the first two slots of the stances that would give you the chance to you know fight anything in the any kind of enemy that you would go up against. And it seems like, uh, like I said, you would just, certain characters have limited access to another character's full run. So like the archer is going to have the flaming explosive and longbow access to, but she wouldn't have access to the full tree of samurai sword skills, which would be like the, the ronin would probably have access to all of the pairing and techniques and stuff for it to be more of a technical sword fighter. He'd still have a bow to use for long range in case the archer went down, but he would be, it would be, uh, everything else would be a jack, would be like a jack trait. In other words, have you ever heard the concept jack of all trades? Everything else would be like a sub skill, but then they're really going to concentrate on one other area. That or, or we're just going to get a fully customizable set of characters and we can do what we want. We'll have female samurai suddenly, but I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I like that nonsense. Keep going here because I saw something else that looked interesting. See, like I said, some of these characters have different skills, it looks like. And they're probably going to have extra skills they're going to add on, which makes them better. But it did look like... Let's go back here for a second. Oh, low please. Here. You see how wide this is? I don't think it's going to be a massive open world. I think we're going to have arenas with different objectives that you're going to have to fight or complete. Sort of like, uh, take this water, take this bucket of blood over to this altar and provide an offering to uh, this Oni so that you can pass through the gate and you'll have to do all sorts of other things. One person is going to have to sacrifice fighting enemies so they can get over and move stuff and then... Who knows, we'll probably earn like spirits or something. But otherwise, this is pretty solid. And the fact that you're not paying any money for it, it's kind of pushing on... Um, I expect this to be like the next Grand Theft Auto because Grand Theft Auto, you got to remember, come out right about the tail end of the PlayStation 3 and then went into the PlayStation uh, 4. And they just kept updating it all the time. They just kept adding new stuff. And the thing about GTA 5, you got to remember, is... It was. It didn't always have shark cards. They eventually added the shark cards so that you could, you know, get a bit of a boost on other things. But you didn't have to have them. Like I started GTA Five fresh two years after it came out, and I ended up unlocking every single business and could make millions of dollars in just a day or two. I with a crew of guys, I could get myself up to a couple million, no problem. I'm talking like fifteen. 12, 15, 12, 13 million dollars at the very least on average. I could pull that much money in about a day or two of working. So, I mean, and that's a day of constant play. But like I said, uh, it seems like Ghost of Tsushima is going to be, the multiplayer is going to be something that really boosts it up. Expect to see sales just take off once multiplayer hits because people are going to see, you've already got a lot of people have got the game, but remember GTA 5 sold, has sold tons of copies they have sold almost a billion copies to to date they have been selling like crazy and it's because gta 5 has a whole lot of things you can do in it and ghost of tsushima if they do this and then they eventually open up like uh, a multiplayer co-op i would love to see the next thing that they do would be a two-person co-op where you have like a whole new campaign but you can jump in with your own custom samurai and you could, you know, cooperate with a buddy of yours and you could do two-player co-op and, like, jerk up the difficulty of the bosses to a ridiculous level. And it'd be, like, um, Ultimate Legends or something like that. I don't know what we would call it. But anyway, tell me what y'all think in the comments about the multiplayer. I mean, this is, this is what players want. This game, Sucker Punch appears to be the new company to watch. And uh, they appear to be the new company... That's coming on. They're they're the new kid on the block. They got some fresh ideas. I say we just uh, just go out and buy the game if you want to try it out and just support it. 
Also, uh, like I said, just hit me up in the comments on what you think. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video.